Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here and I'm at Wild Time Cooking over in the Shinoe Shops here in Lexington. And this week we have been talking all about summer foods, summer produce, simple recipes because even as much as I love to cook, I don't like to be in the kitchen when I'm at home for too long because I want to be outside. I want to enjoy my family. So I'm always looking for just simple recipes that are fresh and flavorful and um, I think we've got a great one for you today. Um, one of the produce that I'm using right now is Swiss chard and I have this growing in my garden at home. Um, if you have ever um, planted a little herb garden at your house this is a great uh, green for you to grow because it grows straight up and it grows in a small bunch so it really doesn't take up that much room so um, it's great for just like urban gardening um, but chard is kind of like kale in terms of flavor um, it's it's just a great green and it also wilts really well um, and works in dishes um, it's very versatile and we're going to be incorporating this into a pasta dish now I went ahead and broke off the um, stalks um, you could save these and I've actually seen some recipes where uh, people have pickled these and keep them for um, just pickling like um, vegetable but I'm not going to use those in this dish now the leaves we're going to take and um, they've been pre rinsed and I typically will just roll them up and stack them like that and then just do some slices and the slices are just going to give us some nice uh, ribbon like strips so this is basically a big uh, chiffonade um, but the same way I typically cut basil as well um, so what we're making today is a pasta dish. Um, we're using orchetta pasta, which um, also may be known and known around my house as the thumbprint pasta. And I've told my girlfriend that was here to go get me some um, thumbprint pasta and she knew what I was talking about when I said orchetta. She was like, huh? Um, so that may be uh, a common name around your household as well. So we've got some shard. We've got orchetta pasta. Um, I went ahead and cooked this and so as far as cooking pasta goes, um, I typically will do boiling salted water, heavily salted, and drop our dry pasta in and right at 10 minutes pull it. Now when you have a smaller pasta like this, you need to probably check it around eight minutes to nine minutes or so because sometimes these will cook a little faster than say your traditional just spaghetti. All right, so we have our shard, we have some fresh basil, we've got some fresh uh, corn, and what we're going to do is we're just going to cut the corn off of the cob, and we're going to use the corn kernels in this dish. This is basically going to be a one pot dish once you have cooked off your pasta. And you can also cook your pasta several days in advance if you know you're meal prepping and you want to just have the pasta and then incorporate it into um, various dinners. You can just keep it in your refrigerator airtight and and then it is good for um, several days. All right, so we're gonna cut the corn off. Um, I do have some bacon as well. Now the bacon I have, I went ahead and cooked in the oven, but if you didn't wanna do that, you could just uh, dice the bacon up and then uh, start it off in the pan and brown your bacon first. All right, so we've got a pan working here on a medium heat. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it and then we're just gonna start building this dish uh, with some various uh, flavors and just start letting it kind of come together on its own. All right, so medium heat. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go with a little bit of diced onion. Just a great way to start a lot of dishes because it's going to add some flavor to the pan. And if you know the beauty of onions and garlic, it makes everything better in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to add a little bit of garlic to the pan along with the um, onions. Popping them. We're having popped garlic, apparently. All right, we're gonna go with our Swiss chard and our corn, okay? So corn kernels I'll start with because uh, the chard will cook very quickly. It will wilt quickly. Again, this is so great for summer and um, also something that you and the kids can do together because it's just one pot. So get them in the kitchen, get them involved, and get them working with you. Um, I'm going to pull this together. You can find the full recipe for this dish um, at our website or Midday Kentucky's website at wtvq.com forward slash recipes. And if you want to see more recipes and um, learn more about cooking from me, you can come to Wild Time Cooking or check me out on Instagram at Chef Allison Davis. Uh, we'll be right back after the short break.
Today's cooking segment was brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style.